It's rather close question, this. Near, this, near the bone. Do you have schools? Have here or elsewhere, give the students an, an understanding of the total human problem, the immensity of human life and its possibilities. Do your schools, underlined, <laughs> here or elsewhere, <coughs> Give the students <coughs> an understanding of the total human problem, the immensity of human life and its possibilities. The question has been put to the speaker, so take, take a rest. <laughs> First of all, the speaker helped in various countries in India. There are five schools and there are going to be other schools. And there is one school here at Rockwood and one in California, at Ohio. They are not the speaker's school. They are the school where not only the speaker and others have helped to bring help to bring it about. So it cannot be called your school. I know Kay's name is used, but it's not his personal school. And that wouldn't be correct or true. It's a school that all the schools in different parts of the world have come, have been built or come together with hundreds of people working for it. You understand? It's not just one person. That would be terrible. You couldn't do it. There are schools in India that have existed for over 60 years which we helped to, the speaker helped to bring it about with the help of others. One in the north, near Benares, and, near, and the other in the south, near Madras, and so on. And there's one here, and one in California. Teach educators like you and me. They are human, they have their own personal problems, their own difficulties, and the students come already conditioned by their parents, by their neighbours, by other children, and come to these various schools. And the teachers are also conditioned, unfortunately. And you're asking a question of total human understanding of life, the immensity of human existence, and its vast possibilities. First of all, do the parents want this? You understand my question? Generally, the parents want their children to have some kind of a degree, technological degree, or humanity. Human degrees, you know, 
various degrees so that they can get a good job, settle down in life and marry, children carry on. Generally, what the parents want. And the children feel certain responsibility to, towards their parents, so they are more or less, especially in the Asiatic world, conform. In India, do you want to go into all this? Parents, I've met them, speaker has met them all, not most of them, in California, here. Some of them don't care a damn whether they pass examination or not, so long as the parents are relieved of their children. They send them off to boarding houses, to, you know, all that. In England too. And they hardly have any relationship except with their children except in the summer holidays or winter holidays. <coughs> and the responsibility of the educator becomes immense. And to teach them, to help them to understand the immense the immensity of human life, the vastness of existence, not only one's own personal existence, but existence, nature, the animals, the whole universe, that requires not only a capable mind, brain, <coughs> and inquiring into that, and also teaching a particular subject, you understand? Because as society now is, if you are a good engineer, you get a better, good job. So, students also want a good job, they don't want to become saleswomen or salesmen in a shop, so they want a good job. So they, their whole Concentration, if you can use that word, is to getting a good degree, A level, O level, and all the rest of it. And there is the pressure of society, which you all have created. And there is the pressure of the parents, and so on. You understand the difficulties of all this? And if you understand it very clearly, and deeply. Will you join us? Now, careful, you can't just join because you want to join. You have to do something. You have to be a good cook, good gardener, yes, good teacher, good parent. You want this. Don't leave it to us. The educator needs educating, as the parents need educating, <coughs> so do the students. It's a, it's a process of living, working, cooperating, feeling together, not battling with opinions. And this requires a great deal of energy. And which parent? And there are many parents. At Brockwood School, I believe there are 15 to 90 nationalities. And that school, this school, is not what it should be, but it will be. We are working for it. Help us. You understand? I am not asking you money. That, that easy stuff. <laughs> but 
joining together to create something together.